<laughs> Breaking Bad, created by Vince Gilligan, revolves around Walter White, a high school chemistry teacher who turns to cooking and selling meth after being diagnosed with terminal cancer. He partners with a former student, Jesse Pinkman, to navigate the dangerous world of drug manufacturing and distribution in order to secure his family's financial future before he dies. As the series progresses, Walter transforms from a mild-mannered teacher into a ruthless drug kingpin. The show delves into themes of morality, consequences of one's actions, and the allure of power and money. It's known for its intense character development, intricate plot lines, and moral ambiguity, making it one of the most celebrated television dramas of all time. One of the most interesting characters in the show is Gus Fring. Gustavo is a calm, calculating, and highly intelligent kingpin who operates a highly successful chain of fast food chicken restaurants called Los Polos Hermanos as a front for his drug empire. Gus initially presents himself as a legitimate businessman and philanthropist, but underneath this facade, he is deeply involved in the distribution of methamphetamine. He becomes a key player in the Albuquerque drug trade and forms a strategic partnership with Walter White and Jesse Pinkman, using their chemistry expertise to produce high-quality meth. Gus is known for his meticulous attention to detail and his ability to maintain control over his operation. He is extremely disciplined and operates with a strict code of conduct, demanding loyalty and competence from his associates. Things get sticky for Walter and Jesse at the climax of season 3 when the duo think that Gus is going to kill them after they kill some of Gus's street dealers. In order to save themselves, Walter plans on murdering Gale, another chemist who Gus has cooking the meth for him. If Gale is out of the picture, Gus must rely on Walt, and Walter's instincts prove correct when Gus's two henchmen, Mike Ehrmantraut and Victor, take Walt into the cooking lab to execute him, with them not knowing where Jesse is. Walt manages to trick Mike into letting him phone Jesse, and he quickly gives him instructions to kill Gale, which he does so. Enter the first episode of season 4, and Walt, Jesse, Mike and Victor are in the lab awaiting Gus's arrival with Victor attempting to try a cook to prove he studied Walter's formula. Gus arrives and starts putting on a lab coat while Walt pleads for his and Jesse's lives, and then suddenly, Gus slashes Victor's throat with a box cutter. It's shocking, it's sudden, it's so out of character, Mike even pulls a gun on Gus momentarily. So what gives? Why, of all the people Gus could have gone to work on, he decided to kill Victor? Well, let's discuss. There's a few reasons why this could have been the case, some simple and others relating to the dynamic between the characters. Victor, of course, along with Mike, was responsible for this fiasco, and between the two, Mike is the more valuable. Victor also failed to reach Gale in time to save him. As Walter was babbling on and on, Gus was indeed listening to what Walter was saying, and he knew Walter was right. And that made him even more angry, because Gus would have liked nothing more than to punish Walter in that moment, but he had no cards to play. Walter was right. You kill me, you have nothing. You kill Jesse, you don't have me. It was actually just after Walter said this that Fring walked away from the duo. Perhaps he was initially going to slash Jesse's throat, but knew Walter would no longer cook for him if he did so. Then Walter, attempting to reach Gus's famed pragmatism to reason with him, says, You won't do this. You can't do this. You can't afford to do this. It might not have been the intent, but this is almost a challenge, almost a mockery being made of Gus. And also, sure, Gus was the strong, silent type, but he had his moments of emotion. And with the all-round frustration this situation had caused him, and his inability to lash out on those responsible, i.e. Walt and Jesse, it could simply be, instead of some highly calculated 5D chess move, a rare moment of lost composure. Not to mention, it's often considered by fans that Gus may have actually liked Gale on a human level, maybe even in that way, and this would mean it would be the second time he lost someone to the drug world. Now Gus needs someone to blame, someone to stab, someone has to die. And between all the men in the room, he had the least to lose by offing Victor. Plus, it shows his power that he could easily dispatch a loyal subordinate, the implication being he's got plenty of men who can do Victor's job. 
but it's actually very much in accordance with Gus's nature, who acts out when things don't go in accordance to his meticulous plans. See my video on why Gus made Lyle clean the fryer again and again. In any case, this sick action reveals his true nature and the depth of his depravity when he feels pushed. Of course, there's very much practical reasons for offing Victor. Victor was in charge of protecting Gale, he failed to keep Gale's home location a secret and allowed himself to be followed by Pinkman. He fails to stop Jesse taking out Gale and then on top of that he's all over the crime scene. Victor knows he screwed up, which must have been why he was trying to cook a batch. It was an attempt to make up for his screw up, to show that he was of value. More on that later. The man admitted to Mike that Gale's neighbours saw him at the scene. Something Mike was concerned about, I mean he used to be a cop. He knows how bad this is even if Victor brushes it off. Victor even left his car at the scene. Victor's handling of the situation would prove to be poor when later on it's shown the police even had a sketch of his face. Victor had now become a liability. He was a loose end. That's why Gus offed him. But the way he offed him was also meant to send a message to everyone in the room. Not just Walter and Jesse, but also to Mike, who very much screwed up. If he had just shot Walt, this entire situation could have been avoided. In fact, this event would play heavily on Mike's mind. It leads him to the bottle. This realisation that Gus isn't the man who Mike thought he was. It disturbs him and shakes his loyalty, as well as the fact that he knows he could easily just have been offed as Victor was. Perhaps this is why he punched Walter when Walter points out Gus's nature at the bar. All of that emotion was bottling up inside Mike and he let it out on Walt. We're all on the same page, Jesse says after this scene. Everyone knows what the score is, and Gus has sent a warning message to Walter and Jesse by killing Victor in visceral fashion. You see, we'd never seen Gus do anything like that up until that point, and Walter, even in this very scene, had always relied on the assumption that Gus was ultimately a pragmatist, a man who could be reasoned with and manipulated through discourse, a far cry from the kind of lunatics we've seen on the show like Tuco. Gus can't do this because he's a businessman. You can't kill me because A plus B equals C. See Gus, it's all so logical. And Gus is showing him here, no, you don't know me. You can't read me. You're not safe just because you're loyal and you can make me money. I am just as unpredictable and dangerous as any cartel boss out there. I am the danger. I can even kill my useful employees who've been with me for years. That's how disposable you all are. Also, if he just walked out of the lab, it would essentially be an admission that Walter had won. He had to do something, and Walter was right that he couldn't quite kill him yet in that moment. But going back to Victor himself, the man handled the situation all wrong. His demeanour shows he misread Gus completely. He smiles when Gus enters, as if he thinks Gus will be jumping for joy seeing him cook. Rather, he should be begging for his life to be spared. Instead, he's smiling at Gus, walking around as if he can do the ultra-precise job that Walter does. Who cares that Gale, a kind of chemist who Gus would have spent years looking for, as Jesse said, is dead? Oh, these two dimwits, you can kill them, because I'll do their job with ease. In hindsight, this guy really didn't know how to read the room. Although saying that, deep down he clearly knows his head might be on the chopping block, hence why he's trying to prove his worth. Earlier on, he didn't seem to be phased by his handling of the Gale situation, so maybe it's something he pondered over as everyone waited for Gus to arrive, and he started to slowly realise he was in some deep shit. But also, the very act of attempting to cook was an own goal for Victor for a number of reasons. He is now acting of his own accord without Gus's permission. This is actually the reason Walter gives to Jesse later on as to why Gus killed Victor, saying he flew too close to the sun, though at the time Walter had his own agenda for coming up with this line of reasoning. Victor, by cooking and ultimately wasting a multi-million dollar batch, is going off script, he's taking liberties. Gus does not like people taking liberties, he wants loyal soldiers who follow orders. The idea that somebody takes the initiative suggests they may have plans in the future for bigger and better things, that they may become a dangerous competitor, that they may become another Walter White with bright ideas. Not to mention, Victor has now shown he was studying the cooking technique, something he kept from Gus. Gustavo doesn't want that. What else does Victor know? What else is he capable of hiding? It's gone to a stage where Gus can no longer trust him. 
It's interesting that Gus stares down both Walt and Jesse while he is killing Victor. Walt avoids looking at him, blinking, shuffling, clearly uncomfortable. Jesse, however, is staring right back at Gus without blinking. He's angry. He even leans forward. In this moment, Gus learned something about the two men in front of him. He studied them and saw that Walter just wanted to be at peace, to escape, to go back to cooking, if it meant all this trouble can go away. But Jesse was furious. He was forced to kill because otherwise Gus would kill him, and now Gus was taking another life needlessly in front of him. Jesse had tried to take revenge before. He is surprisingly more principled than Walter. He takes responsibility, and perhaps Gus wasn't lying when he said later on that he sees something in Jesse. Maybe this was a vetoing session, an elaborate job interview where Jesse would start being groomed, as later proven, to step up and play a major role. This is of course what starts to happen with Pinkman going with Mike on missions, including a fake carjacking to prove Jesse's mettle. It's very much possible that Jesse's reaction on a level impressed Gustavo. After all, Jesse took out Gale to save Walter more than himself after successfully tailing Victor, and unlike Victor, he can cook. Heck, Victor is so dispensable, Jesse could end up being a new and improved Victor. Gus even tilts his head when he's eyeing Jesse, as if he's noticed the fire that's been lit in the boy. It's also worth mentioning, taking a step back, that this is the season opener of a new season on Netflix for the first time, available to a wider audience after increased popularity. What better way to hook an audience than to show how hardcore things are with a succulent throat slash? So why do you think Gustavo Fring killed Victor? Let me know in the comment section below, subscribe to the channel and let me know if you'd like to see more videos on Breaking Bad. Thanks for watching.